Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. And I'm Barb. And uh, today I'm going to pull a shot using the Coffee Lot Robot and our OE basket prep system, start to finish. Uh, first of all, of course, I'm going to grind some coffee. I'm using the OG for this. My grind size is set at 420 vertical bore movement. I find this is really good for the robot. I'm going to be using a medium roast bean with some light roast beans mixed in just to spice it up a little bit. So, be grinding 18 grams of coffee. Now, sometimes when you see people doing a hand grinder video, they don't really grind, use the hand grinder because the, the sound tends to broadcast in a harsh way, much more than it is in real life. But we're going to go start to finish so you can see what it's like. I'm pull my beans. Now, you might think that this guy must be the laziest guy in the world because when I grind, I like to sit down and take it easy. Not because it takes a long time. <laughs> It's just that it turns out that this might look lazy, but it's actually the most efficient way to grind coffee using our full-size grinders because the base is supported and this motion creates a cyclonic effect where the beans, beans are swirling around, being constantly fed into the burrs. Now, I'm not working too hard. As I said, it is a medium roast bean. I'm actually not, I'm not in any hurry. I can stop, it, it, it has no effect. This is a hand grinder. You know, I, it's, this is the way it is. And so, if you, and I, how long does it take? I don't know. Till it's done. Yeah, it starts in the beginning, it's done when it's done. But when I do this, I'm often looking at my computer or my phone or doing whatever. Now, I'll show you. It's, it's just about done. I can feel it. So, I'll show you the difference. Now, I can also just kind of walk around and do this. Different sound, right? My, my bean feed is, in, is efficient. It's easier to turn. Now I can put the corner down here and I can get the same effect. But I like sitting down and doing it. So there this finishes off. Make sure I have the last beans. There they are. That's done. Now comes the system. We start with a small filter, one small filter, and we just throw it in. Sorry to reach across you here, Barb. That's okay. Okay, there's my filter. Now, I hook that down with water. Just flood it so it's nice and stuck down. Now, you can kind of blot through the holes, see, extra water is now gone. This is a specific funnel that fits the robot. Okay, now here's another part. Hockey puck. This shock really knocks most of the coffee off the burr, the side shock. The hockey puck. So we'll see what we've got. Nice and clean. Now here, this is the thing. I like to hear the coffee. If I can't hear a granular sound, I'm grinding too fine. Nice, okay, shake it in. Into the basket. Done with that. Done with that. Now, I use the portafilter itself as a stand for my rake. 
for this process. Okay, because it allows me to go around and around and around without worrying about it. I usually go 15, 20 times, they don't really count. That smells good. That smells good. Generally wipe the prongs, just tidiness. This goes in to the stand either way, that way, depends on how you end up, or this way. There's that part. Now, now that my coffee's in the basket, I don't want to do anything to deviate from my system because this system standardizes the prep. So I don't want to bonk it down. I don't want to shake it around. I don't want to do anything else but the process. Okay? So with this, this weighs 160 grams. I flatten the top. Now comes big filter. This requires a little bit of technique because the filter fits so precisely. Seven and a half, or yeah, 57.5 basket, 57.45 filter. So you lay it on the top and you kind of float it in. Down it goes. If you push it in this way, you can get coffee on top of it, which kind of defeats the purpose. So you just float it across the top. Now, goes my basket. And comes this component. You know, I forgot to turn on my water when I started. Well, it'll give me time to talk more. Okay, 166.8 is what the tamper weighs. I want to see 700. I just saw, I saw nine. Okay, 900 is still less than two pounds tamp. But when I see seven, I let off, but it's, it's not a lot of weight, okay? So as my water heats up, now I'm ready to go. So, what do we do now? Over, the, over time, the videos that I've watched, the, the concepts that have been brought forward in pulling a shot, not just with the, the robot, but any shot, okay? I gravitated toward three different kinds of pulls on the robot. High pressure is you put in the water, bang, jump on the, on the levers right away. Because this compresses the pup and gives a lot of resistance to the water. And you'll find it's really hard to push down, but it's very high pressure. So that's one, is the high pressure shot. Two is there's a put in the water pre-infusion, you push the coffee through, you watch for a drip, and when you see the drip, you just increase the pressure in one smooth movement. And this is a lower pressure shot. It generally, the, the high pressure shot generally gives you a, a thick ristretto. This is a thinner longo. This gives you a nice big cup of coffee, but it's thinner and tasty, and this one's usually done with lighter roast beans, okay? The third shot, is the one I'm going to do. I prefer it recently. It's medium pressure shot, which you put in your border filter, do the pre-infusion. When you see your drops, you stop. You give it a pause. Okay? Five seconds, six seconds. Then you do your pull, medium pressure. That's the one I'm going to do. Okay. We're at almost 3,000 feet and our water boils at 209, which is 98.33333. Gently add to the water, right in the center. And you can see how clean it is with this system. No floaties. Okay, now my water temperature is dropping. As it drops, I prepare my cups, make sure they're dry. There they go. Okay, I've got a bit of time to get down to 93, but I'm going to start my pressure. Very easy. Watch, there's my drip. Just count in my head. And 
then they come on with a pull. You can feel there's quite a bit of resistance compared to type 2, which is the low pressure shot, but nothing compared to the high pressure shot. And I just watch, and I want a little spring back. There is a little spring back. Out go my two issue cups of coffee. In goes my waist. So that's the shot start to finish. This is the system, and basically we use this system to standardize the material handling aspect of the shot. I do it the same way every time. And my, my skill part is over here. Temperature, pressure, pulling the shot, deciding what I want to do, which means. So you don't want to take away the skill, but still total standardization, total consistency of basket prep with our new system. And that's it. It's time to drink some coffee.